Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by this evening. I am going to show you tonight how I painted this design on the black cardstock. And then I will be transferring this over to a painted glass, uh, hopefully tomorrow, um, so I can get it uploaded uh, to YouTube for you um, at the, tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started for this evening. Um, I do have my black card stock. And I am using for this painting my 16 round brush, my number 8 round brush, and these are Princeton brush brushes by Heritage. And then my good old one stroke brushes, a scruffy brush, which is a no longer really read it, a one quarter I believe, and then a 10 flat brush, and then I'm using the um, dotting tool, it's a stylus number one, which is actually part of a nail painting kit. Not that I'm painting nails, but somebody recommended the, uh, the nail brushes, which actually I have ended up really loving. All right. Paint-wise, I'm using the Multi-Surface Folk Art Enamels Burnt Umber, using Yellow Citron, and my Thicket Green for the leaves. My favorite Wicker White for the actual flowers. Cinnamon, which is a Multi-Surface, along with the Burnt Umber, and then Yellow Light. The uh, cinnamon and the yellow light are going to actually be what I use for my center along with a little bit of white and then I'm going to do some dotting on the centers with the burnt umber. Flower will actually be made out of the wicker white and then the yellow citron and again the thicket will be my my leaves. I'm going to start off by painting the first flower with the larger round brush, the number 16. I'm just doing single color of the wicker white and I'm going to place it, the bigger flower here towards the bottom of the paper and I am just doing this with a couple little strokes side by side for each petal of the flower. I just think it gives it a neat a neat type of a surface on the edges. And you can put them closer together too if you, you know, want it just to be. It's kind of like I am painting two, two petals though. It's very easy. I guess that it's single loaded. And I can go back in here and make these come back into the center a little bit more. But I think you get the gist. And if you feel like the paint is not as opaque as you'd like, you know, feel free to go over it. If you like my painting style, please feel free to like my work, share it, of course, subscribe to my channel. That would be very helpful and appreciative. I am going to go back over these. I'm just trying to get the edges of the puddles a little neater. Oops, a little bit too much paint on my brush. And it dripped, but that's okay. Not a biggie. So you're basically just kind of pointing a little bit and pulling. I'm kind of thickening these up as I'm going back over them, which is fine. And really there's not a certain number of petals you can put on this flower. And this really isn't any certain type of a flower, it's just something I kind of just happen to come up with. So if you want to know what it is, yeah, it's my my imagination. Okay, so I got that that part done. 
what I'm going to do then is go up a little bit above it and do a smaller version and on this one I'm going to be using the number eight round brush. These round brushes I actually purchased on uh, Amazon. All right, and again, with this, I'm not doing any type of a specific petal count. They really don't have to be like perfectly side by side either. And by that I mean that one of the petals can actually be higher than the other. That's fine too. Alright, so now I'm just going to keep turning this and I just really on the bottom part I'm kind of hoping that the petals will not be quite as long. That just gives it a different kind of a look. Yeah, and very easy, especially when you're single loading. It's just not um, anything that's really difficult. And, and this is intentional. Again, as I've mentioned before, I'm trying to do some do paintings that, that just about anybody can do. You don't have to really be an experienced painter. That way it just kind of makes it, hopefully makes it fun for everyone. If you can feel successful at doing something, I think that encourages people to continue on, I'm hoping. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay, and on this one, I think I'm going to go back in and put in some smaller kind of like filler petals in between here just to make it a little bit fuller that's the funny thing about doing samples because then when you go back you're thinking oh well that was a little bit fuller that looked a little different and that's why I always say, don't promise anybody that something will be identical when you're paint, hand painting something for a customer. Because it seems like you ten have a tendency, unless it's a pattern that you repeat all the time, it ends up being different. Alright, so then the next one I'm going to do is going to come right up in here. And I want this to be something where the center of the flower is kind of open, you know, at the top without any petals around it. It's kind of like it's starting to, either starting to open or the leaves are falling off, however you want to view it. It can be viewed either way. Like I said, if you like my videos, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you hit the little bell so you get the notifications. I just lost my paintbrush. All right, what I'm going to go ahead and do next is put in my centers. Why is it that whenever you lose something, it has to go like the furthest part away from you? All right, so I want this to be almost like my flower is looking this direction. I'm going to put a little bit more of that dark brown down here. Or it's not dark brown, I'm sorry. It's the darker, darker yellow. You know what I'm, what I'm talking about? A little bit of white in it. 
And again, this is my old, trusty old uh, scruffy brush. Looks like it's been through, through a lot, which it probably has been. So I've used it for quite some time. Okay, get that center in. I might do a tad bit of white. And not to forget my little open one here. Like I said, you can look at this as, oh, it's blooming, or oops, the petals are falling off. However you look at things. So I'll leave it up to you. I think it's cute. I hope you do too. I'd love to hear from you. I love when people make comments and ask questions. If you have any questions, please let me know. This one was not inspired by my granddaughter's uh, uh, shirt by any by any means. Although she did wear a cute one today that I probably will do for a Valentine's theme. All right, what I'm going to do over here now is do just kind of a, a little stem that's going to lead out like it's coming from the edge. And then pull it to this one up here. And I'll go back up here so you can see it. I really like this the Citron. I always forget this yellow Citron paint. I think it's very pretty. It almost makes you feel like your stems are illuminated. All right, so I have it like that. And then I'm just going to go in. And on this one, I didn't give myself quite as much room, but I'm going to go ahead and do just, just kind of a wavy, and you can go back like that. You can put a little point on it if you want, but it's going to be, I'm just trying to do like different, so it's not just all straight. Okay, so basically, I'm just pushing the brush. I'm double loading it with those two colors and then coming up to the point and then coming back. Now with coming back, because I'm doing it on cardstock, it's not flowing as nicely as it would if it were on um, glass or other kind of paper. So that's why I may have to add more to it when I come back. If that makes sense, and just go back over it because it's it's a little bit drier. It doesn't move as well. All right, I'm just going to with the placement of the petals. I mean, there's really not a rhyme or reason to it. I'm just filling it in where I feel like it it would add interest to it. And again, I'm doing this with a number ten flat brush. And I'm just going to come back and leave it like that. Good. When you're doing these, you know, you can pull it through and do a veining if you want. I'm not going to do that on this. Kind of like them just how they, how they look. And I'm going to come here and just maybe add some more, but maybe not quite as big. And I'm going back over it because I want it to have a nicer finish to it. Do it on the other side. Like I said, if you choose to do different, different leaves, uh, more than more than just one type of leaf, you know that's perfectly fine too. On this one, I am doing two different styles of leaves.
And just come back over it just to throw some more color to it. And I think they're cute. I like them. one is just very simple as far as not cluttered with a lot of different flowers. I mean you could certainly add more if you wanted. But I just like it, like it to be a little more simple. Okay so I have those, flat, those leaves in and what I want to do is add just some more of the just the easy kind of Push and pull. More like filler leaves, if you will. Now I'll tell you on my glass, this will be much prettier. And if you wanted to add some in here, you could. I'm just going to leave that as it is and then bring some some more up this way so just how simple that is just gives it more I don't know just more interest if you will do the same here. I might pull them out this way. And if you wanted to do more budding, you know, like some budding to make, but I'm not going to do that on this. I like to work in threes, as I say, and have said before. And then what I'm going to do on this to finish it. Let's take my stylus, and again, this is the nail, for the nail, and I'm just going to take the lid off of my burnt umber, take it in, dip it into the mix, and just do some dotting. Now, you could, for the point of adding interest, you could use a few colors. On this one, I'm just going to stick with doing some brown. I the folk the uh, burnt umber and I'm going to do it to all of them I'm sorry my camera's moving so much I'm not sure what that's all about because I am not touching it but it keeps swinging Alright, so there you have it. Again, pretty easy, I think. It's pretty, and it's pretty easy. So I'd like to hear from you what you think. And again, stay tuned for my next video where I apply this to painted glass. So again, love to hear your comments. Please make sure if you're not already subscribing to my channel that you do that. Hit the bell so you're getting my notifications. And if you like my video, please share it with anybody that you think that might like it as well. And I do appreciate you stopping by. And until the next video, have a good evening.